All right, so now I am going to set up the WireGuard VPN client on an Android phone so I can securely connect to my corporate servers. The process is actually pretty simple. I'll walk you through it step by step. First, we need to install the WireGuard app from the Google Play Store. Just open the Play Store. Search for WireGuard client. And install it. Once it's installed, open the app, tap the plus button. Before we set up the VPN on our phone, we need the WireGuard configuration file from our VPN administrators or the corporate IT team. There are three ways to add this config to the app. Import a config file. If you have a config file, you can manually load it. Scan a QR code. If the server provides one, it's the easiest way. Or create from the scratch. Now choose one of these options in this video. We'll manually configure a WireGuard client from scratch. Now tap on create from scratch and enter the details. Under the interface, name the corporate VPN or any name you prefer. I would type corp VPN. Private key, get this from your IT team or generate one in the app. We will generate it and pass the public key to our WireGuard VPN server. Copy the public key as we'll need it shortly to add it to the pair settings in the WireGuard VPN server. In the address, I would type 10.100.1.11/24. This is the client VPN IP reserved or assigned to this Android device. Should be assigned from the same range defined in the WireGuard interface configuration. In the DNS settings, I would type Google DNS. Now click on the add pair. In the pair settings, we need the WireGuard VPN server's public key. Go back to the pfSense, copy the public key and paste it here. First sign in to the pfSense firewall. Click on the VPN, WireGuard. In the tunnel, click on edit. And copy this public key. And paste it in the notepad. Now copy this public key. Then return to the Android mobile device and paste it into the pair section public key field. Pre-shared key. If desired, generate a pre-shared key to enhance security. We'll copy the pre-shared key from the WireGuard VPN server's pair section and paste it here later. Persistent keep alive. I would type 25 seconds. Keeps the connection alive, which means that the connection will send an empty packet to the pair every 25 seconds to maintain an active connection. In the endpoint, Type the WireGuard VPN public IP address. In my case, this is my public IP and the WireGuard default port. And make sure you should replace with your company's VPN server IP address. In the allowed IP address, I would allow 10.100.1.0 24. This is my internal network and 10.10.10.0 24. Like earlier, here I am stating tunnel network and my office LAN network. I am more interested to use split tunneling rather than using full tunneling. This routes all the relevant traffic to their specified tunnel. Now configure the pair setting for the device in the WireGuard VPN installed on the PFSense firewall. Go back to your PFSense firewall. Click on the add pair. Ensure it is enabled. And select the tunnel. We have only one in this lab. Enter the description. For example, Android 01 in my case. For the public key, copy it from the Android 01 client machine where WireGuard client is installed. I have already saved it in my notepad. Copy the WireGuard client public key and paste it here. Now generate the pre-shared key. Copy the pre-shared key and paste it in the notepad. In the address configuration, assign the client IP address from the tunnel network that we have given earlier to our WireGuard client. This is the IP address to assign to this WireGuard client. For example, I will assign 10.100.1.11 32. And click on save pair. Don't forget to apply changes. Now copy the preset key and paste it in the WireGuard client.
Once everything is filled in, tap save. Now to test the VPN connection, just tap the toggle switch next to the VPN profile. WireGuard wants to set up a VPN connection that allows it to monitor network traffic. Only accept if you trust the source. Yes, I trust this source. Click on OK. To make sure the VPN is working, here's what you can do. If you have a terminal app like Termux, Fing or any ping utility, just to check to the connectivity to your office network, just open it and type ping. I have installed ping utility. Open it up. I would type my corporate server address. 10.10.10.10 Press ping. And yes, I am getting a replies from my corporate server. I could also do a trace route to check the tunnel network. Here it is. Now you could try to access your internal resources, open an internal website or use RDP to a corporate server. Okay, that's it. Now try to access your internal resources, open an internal website or use RDP to the corporate servers. There is also a troubleshooting steps if it does not work. If the VPN is not connecting, here's what you can check. First check the handshake, make sure the server's public key is correct and check if the WireGuard server is online. If your WireGuard client is connected but there is no internet, ensure you have allowed the correct IP addresses or try to change your DNS settings to your Google address or a company's provided DNS settings. If it is still not working, then restart the WireGuard app and try again or contact to the IT team to verify your WireGuard client public key is added to the server. Alright, that's it. Now the WireGuard VPN client is running on your Android phone and you can securely connect to your corporate network from anywhere.